Hello, welcome to another week's reading vlog. Thank you for returning to my channel. I hope you enjoyed watching last week's reading vlog in which I finished reading Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. I also read Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on Sunday. I didn't vlog any of that because I like to keep Sundays as my day off because I think it's important to do that when I've got a hell of a lot going on. So Sundays don't vlog, um, but I did finish Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I started it very late on Saturday night and read about 70 pages and then read the rest of it yesterday and god it was good it was so sunny yesterday so I just sat outside all day I love that book I haven't reread that one for years and I forgot so much of the things that happen oh there's just like there's a lot of things that weren't inserted into the films and one of the bits at the end is that Sirius gives Ron an owl because he sends a little owl to deliver Harry a letter and he says that Ron can keep the owl and it's like oh it's just little bits like that I'm like we could have done with that in the film it's so cute so I very much enjoyed that this week I have decided to read as many books as I possibly can there's no real reason why I'm going to try and do this but I'm intrigued to see working full-time doing this full-time blogging full-time I'm intrigued to see how many books I can actually read if I really dedicate myself to it because a lot of my day-to-day -day life involves social media, whether it's with the books nest side of things or my day job where I'm a social media executive, a lot of social media pulls itself into my day-to-day. -day. So actually what I could be doing is not going on my phone as much when I finish work and when I finish all the books nest stuff. So if I do that and pick up a book instead, then hopefully I'll be able to read more, right? That, that's how it works, yeah? The book I am going to be starting the week with is Hold Back the Tide by Melinda Salisbury. I started this one this morning so I'm really not very far in at all um, but this seems to be about a girl who lives with her dad and her dad I think murdered her mum and she is absolutely terrified that he's going to murder her too so the first chapter talks about how to live with a murderer and basically talks about her survival strategies. They both live on this lake or river lock thing and they have to take care of it and check that the water levels are okay and harvest the fish and she basically works a lot for her dad and does a lot of hours making sure that the very very large lock is looked after and she is desperate to escape both her job her life there and the fear of her father murdering her so she's trying to get away to do a different job in a completely different location and that's all I can tell from now, um, but I'm intrigued to see where this goes. It says on the back that it's a novel to seek your, sink your teeth into, so I'm ready to do that. It's also very small, so this could help me with how many books can Beth read in a week. So that's pretty much everything I've got to update you on at the moment. I shall speak to you later as I attempt to read far too many books. This is going to completely fail and editing Beth is going to hate me for saying all of this on camera and not be able to cut it out, but... I'm gonna give it a go, I'm not gonna like overly force it, but we'll see how it goes. Hello, it is Monday evening, which means I have survived the working day. It's actually more like Monday afternoon, but we'll pretend it's Monday evening. I'm about to go on a dog walk, and then this evening, we are showing my sister Ava Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for the first time. I was waiting till I finished the book to then watch it again, because I wanted to watch it and think, oh, they didn't include that, and they didn't include that. S sorry if you can hear my mum squeaking in the background. Anyway, so we're going to watch that tonight with a barbecue, even though it's really uh, miserable outside, but we're having a barbecue and we're watching Harry Potter. Perfect Monday night. Ava, what are we attempting to do right now? We're, we're roasting marshmallows. Yeah, we're attempting it. It's not really happening for us, but... No, and we asked Mummy to light it, and I <laughs> wish she did. <laughs> they should be nice, though. And what are we watching on TV for the first time ever for you? Harry Potter 3! Harry Potter 3, are you enjoying it? Yeah, even though it kind of scared me, and I, and I have to jump into Beth's arms. Yeah, for the Dementor part, but it'll be good. I have just woken up and opened up my curtains and I don't know if you can see this but there's a monk jack there. He's just eating his branches. Just right there. How cool is that? Good afternoon. It is Tuesday and I am working from bed today because sod it, I felt like it. I worked for half a day from my desk and now I am in bed for the rest of the day. So why the hell not? I have got like 30 pages left of Hold Back the Tide, which I think I'll be finishing on my lunch break. This is very good. I didn't expect anything that happened in this book to happen. The blurb takes you down one route and then the plot takes you down different and it's fantastic. I am very glad I picked it up. 
definitely annoyed that I have this much left. I got up early to try and finish it, but I didn't get up early enough. But it's fantastic. It's very gripping. It definitely is something to get your teeth stuck into, which is what it told me it would be on the blurb. So that's good. It's really cloudy outside. I think I showed you this morning with a clip of a monk jack in my garden. Not my garden. That wasn't my garden. That's a field by my house. But I am wearing my sunshine jumper to try and bring the sun. And yes, it's not raining at least, so I might be able to go out for a dog walk later. Last night, we watched Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for the first time. Well, I, not for the first time for me, but for the first time with my sister. And she really liked it. We were worried she wouldn't quite get it. We'd been waiting for her to watch this one, but she did actually, she kept up. She was a little bit creeped out by the d -d 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 dementors, but she generally was quite happy with it. Um, I hope you guys got my awful impression there uh, of the actual film itself. I really liked watching it again. I think one of my favourite little moments in that film is when they come out of the Whomping Willow and Snape is behind them and he turns around and he's like, what are you three doing? And then he notices that Lupin has turned into the werewolf. So he turns around to cover the kids, even though like they're being right dicks to him right now. They've expelliarmused him. He doesn't like them. He still turns around to protect them because he is a teacher and he's being good to them. And it just makes my heart go boom. So that, that was great, really enjoyed watching that. Um, I'm sure we're probably gonna watch it many more times this week because that's what she does when she watches a film. She just watches it on repeat. After my mum and I finished our reread of the fourth book, which I haven't started yet, I will start after I finish Hold Back the Tide, then we'll watch the fourth film. It's all very exciting. My laptop fan is all I hear all day and it's driving me insane. Literally the minute I lift my work laptop lid up and the minute I close it, it stops, but yeah, eight hours of this noise. I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but it drives me nuts. Anyway, I finished Hold Back the Tide on my lunch break and it was a four star read, absolutely fantastic. Completely different to what I thought it would be and I'm really glad I read it. So that was a good little breakup of my Harry Potter reread, but I think I'm gonna go on to Goblet of Fire now because I'm very much vibing the Potter. And my mum is reading it as well, so we kind of wanna talk about it at the same time. So shall we moving on to that next? It is time to play. Every time I've tried to go on this in the past few weeks, it's had an update or something or I just haven't made the time. And you know what? I'm making the time. I'm in bed. I'm doing nothing. And it feels good, guys. Wait till I get a headache after about five minutes. Oh, don't you dare update. Okay, we're good. We're good, I think. I'm not going to believe it until I see the start screen, but we'll we'll see how we go. Also, do you like my purple Xbox controller that definitely looks black? It is purple. There's no way of seeing. Look, these bits are purple. I've got the Fortnite version of my Xbox there um, that's purple and the remote matches. And yeah, I'm cool. I know. So as I play Call of Duty, I'm going to stick my headphones in and listen to an audiobook. My current audiobook is Shadow and Bone because I'm giving that trilogy a go to then reread Six of Crows. So I shall stick that in now. Oh, happy Wednesday and happy hump day. We're nearly at the weekend where well, you're not watching this. Actually, normally these go live on a Wednesday, so maybe you are. Happy hump day. I'm having a great day so far, despite it being cloudy outside. I've been really productive this morning and I've also ordered a ring light, which is very exciting. I've been meaning to get a ring light for ages. I used to borrow one from my old job, but I no longer work there and haven't for like a year and a half. So I've been without proper lighting and just been relying on daylight when I take my photos. And now I'm doing videos. I thought, nope, sod it. I'm going to buy one. So I bought one. That's arriving at the weekend, which is very exciting. Also, I got some book mail. I got an arc of The Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. This was sent to me by Orbit, so thank you very much, Orbit. I can't really summarise what the plot is about without leaving out important bits, so I thought I would read you the blurb if that's something you're interested in. If not, then just skip to about 30 seconds forward, because here's the blurb. The Emperor's reign has lasted for decades, his mastery of bone shard magic powering the animal-like constructs that maintain law and order. But now his rule is failing and revolution is sweeping across the Empire's many islands. Lynn is the Emperor's daughter and spends her day trapped in a palace of locked doors and dark secrets. Ooh. When her father refuses to recognise her as heir to the throne, she vows to prove her worthy, her worth, not her worthy, by mastering the forbidden art of bone shard magic. Yet such power carries a great cost when the revolution reaches the gates of the palace. Lynn must decide how far she is willing to go to claim her birthright and save her people. 
This sounds so cool. As well, it loves Andrea Stewart as the author and says, Andrea Stewart is the Chinese American daughter of immigrants and was raised in a number of places across the United States. When her admittedly ambitious dreams of becoming a dragon slayer didn't pan out, she insisted to turn to writing books and now lives in sunny California. I'm very excited about this book. I think it's going to be an own voices novel. It's floppy and it sounds really good. So I'm probably going to try and dive into this one in May, maybe? We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. So that's my day so far. Also did a boots order, which is very exciting. Ran out of foundation and I'd ran out of mascara. So basically all of that's now coming next weekend. The one thing I can't get used to at the moment is that when you order something, it's no longer quick delivery, which sounds very privileged and I understand that, but it make, you have to retrain your brain because in my head I'm like, oh, it's cool. I've ran out of X, Y, and Z. I'll just order it and it'll arrive tomorrow. No, no. You have to order it like a couple of weeks in advance if you want something for a certain date. Apart from Amazon, which I saw a meme on Twitter the other day saying something like Amazon tricks you by telling you that it is going to send your parcel in like two to three weeks and then it arrives sooner and it's like, ha, ah, jokes, bitch, it's on your doorstep, which is very much how Amazon are acting right now. So who knows when my ring light will arrive. It's meant to arrive Saturday, but could arrive tomorrow. Very exciting. Look at me getting excited about film kit again. It's like I'm back at uni. I thought you guys might like to see my weird ass lighter. It's just like, just bizarre. It basically lights it with like an electric shock. So it does that. It, it's very weird. It's not necessarily the most efficient, but um, my old lighter had lighter fluid in it and I was filling up the lighter fluid and I filled it up over the sink because I didn't want it to spill anywhere. And I checked the lighter was working and the whole sink lit up in flames. So um, I feel like this is a safer option for me. <laughs> and it recharges, so it's reusable. So I realized this morning I didn't actually update you on what I'm reading. As I finished Hold Back the Tide yesterday, I started a new book last night and that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I was gonna start this one at the weekend. However, I kind of wanted to get to it quicker because we watched the third film on Monday night and it made me realise how much I want to watch the fourth film because that used to be my favourite because at the age I was I very much fancied Danny Radcliffe with his hair like that which is just bizarre thinking about it now because his hair is just so messy and long anyway whatever I have a type of guys I like brown hair and glasses generally ask any of my friends and they shall tell you that's the kind of guy I like so my mum believes that we can blame Harry Potter for that when I was a kid because there's a video of me stroking his face on a poster and saying, my lover, I don't know why I'm telling you this or why I'm not going to edit it out, but hey ho. Anyway, this is what I'm reading. I am on page 138 and I have, they're just about getting to Hogwarts, so we've had the Quidditch World Cup. So much is different in this book than it is in the film. The Quidditch World Cup is so immersive. Oh, I'd love to go. I don't like watching sports, but I do like playing sports. So I think this kind of sport, Quidditch, I would enjoy. I love rounders, so I think I would make myself a good beater personally, because I'm very good at whacking the ball in rounders. I would definitely play Quidditch, and I think for the Quidditch World Cup, I would watch it as well. It just sounds fab, it's so fun. But this, reading this book again and reading the whole series again is really reminding me how much I love Potter. I think my love dwindled a little bit in more recent years as more and more is being commercialised around the series. It's obviously absolutely fantastic and it's so brilliant of a world that's created. And I know there's a lot of problematic things with it now that are coming to light as well, particularly with JK Rowling. However, if you strip all of that away, what you are left with is the story of Harry and how he defeats and fights Voldemort and how he tries to live a normal life and be a wizard. And that in itself is just exciting and magical. And that's what I'm trying to focus on because I'd forgotten how much I loved it. I think this has really pulled me back in because I've always enjoyed Harry Potter and I've always loved it. But I'm now remembering quite how much detail and how much I love it because this is just great. I'm really enjoying my reread. So when I finished work for the day, I'm going to go and read a little bit more of this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it before the end of the month. I would have liked to because then I could say I read 11 books in April, but I think this will probably move into May. I don't tend to do TBRs, but I don't know if I will now I'm making booktube videos, but this will be definitely a book that I am finishing in May. Okay, it's happening. It's Wednesday evening. I have finished work for the day and I'm going to go for a run, walk, light jog thing. Um, I don't really know what it would be classed as, but I've got my gym gear on because needs must and um, the family are walking the dog and I'm just basically going to walk in front of them at a faster pace. We'll see how that goes, but uh, exercise! Can you see the guns? No, because I haven't gone to the gym in two months. Ah. Right, hello, hi. 
I did the run thing. Hours have passed. I haven't just just haven't got changed. So I am taking part in Ashley's Make Your Own Myth Taker um, reading readathon thing that's happening in June. And I'm also one of the hosts for the 24 hour readathons, which is exciting. Mine will be taking part on the last weekend. Um, I'm just looking now at the prompts and I think, well, do I want to tell you my plan? Basically, you can probably guess this if you look at the uh, prompts after watching this video, but one of the books that I need to find is a book with Queen, a, a Queen as a main character. I can't do it. I don't have any. I don't know how creative I can be with this because I do have Queenie on my TBR. I don't think that counts. Also, I want to read a fantasy books for this and that is not fantasy. So I am struggling majorly hard because the only one I can think of is Priory and I love that book and I want to reread it. But I've also planned some other pretty chunky books for my TBR for this. So I don't know. Books with queens as the main characters, guys, preferably fantasies. But I can't, yeah, help, help me. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to the best line ever. Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire, Harry? Dumbledore asked calmly. Oh, Dumbledore. Harry, my dear boy, did you put your name into the Goblet of Fire? Harry, <laughs> did you do it? Did you put your name in the Goblet? I can't believe it would be you. <laughs> no, Harry. Oh, hey, Harry. Did you, uh, did you put your name in that Goblet of Fire? Oh, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Harry, you have your mother's eyes, and she looked down on you, putting your name into the Goblet of Fire. Did you do it? Was it you? Harry boy, did you put your name in that goblet of fire, you rascal, you? In dreams, Harry, we enter a world that is entirely our own. So perhaps you slept walked and put your name into the goblet of fire. Did you do it? Did you do it, Harry? Did you? I do apologise for what you just witnessed, but I couldn't help myself, so I'll just continue on with the vlog as normal now. Good afternoon. It is Thursday and I have only just put my makeup on, which has been quite a nice change because usually every morning I've been waking up and putting it on ready for the start of work. But today I've got loads of stuff happening later in the day, so I wanted it to last me longer. So I just put it on. You didn't need to know any of that, but hello, welcome to Thursday's segment of this vlog. Today I am still reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire about halfway through, so I might try and get a good chunk of that read today. Really enjoying it. We're up to the bit now with the first trial of the Triwizard Tournament, which is very exciting. They're all currently doubting why Harry put his name in and not believing him when he says he didn't. And I just, I love it so much. It's just fantastic. The world building and the effort put in to make this all line up together is brilliant. Tell you one thing that is annoying me slightly that I didn't realise would annoy me and I thought I would enjoy is the whole spew campaign that Hermione's running for the protection of the house elves and things. It's a bit too much for me. She's going in too much with it and being quite irritating, which is making me find her a little bit annoying, but I'll, I'll let her off because she's passionate. She's campaigning for something she cares about. Anyway, I have got a client call this afternoon and then I'm done with work. But after that, I have got a call, well, a live that I'm going live with Keris, Becca and Ashley on Keris's YouTube channel. So this will all be live by the time you're watching this. And we are getting together to put books into Hogwarts houses, which is very apt given that I am currently rereading the books. I'm really excited. I have been looking at the list of books and barely any of them, if not any of them, I would put in Hufflepuff. And it's made me realise how bad I am at thinking of books that suit Hufflepuff because every book that I think of none of them fit into Hufflepuff so if you've got any Hufflepuff book suggestions drop them down below because yeah it, it just doesn't in my head I can't put them into Hufflepuff I don't know why I always think Hufflepuff and Gryffindor are a similar ish obviously Gryffindor goes more into bravery whereas Hufflepuff goes more into the loyalty and more cozy vibes if that makes sense but I don't know, this is very uh, millennial of me to be talking about the Hogwarts houses so seriously, but you've got to take it seriously when you're sorting them into books into Hogwarts houses. So yes, I will be doing that shortly, well not shortly, later, but I'm very excited. So I'm going to get on with a bit more work now and then get to that after work. Oh, look at that blinding light. It is the evening now. Um, finished work, finished the live stream with the girls, which was really good fun. Oh, hang on. Pippin. Come this is Pippin. He is named after Pippin from Lord of the Rings, not Pippin the dog can come outside. He's a gavapoo. 
and he is three. You left me. It's because I'm taking him on a walk. Oh, he's back. Um, anyway, going to take the dog on a walk. And um, what else was I going to tell you? Yes, I mentioned yesterday about not having a book with the Queen as a main character. I have one now, so thank you to the person on Instagram that suggested this, or somebody suggested it to me somewhere. Um, but I'm going to be reading Winter by Marissa Meyer, which is the fourth book in the Lunar Chronicles series. Um, I haven't read it, which is something that I've been putting off for a very long time. So I could read Fairest, which is a lot shorter and features the story about the Queen. But I don't own that and I kind of want to get through my TBR, so Winter it is, which isn't really on my TBR. But hey-ho, I'm going to read Winter, so thank you all for your suggestions um, on Instagram and if you were going to make any on YouTube, there is my choice. Now I'm going to, oh god, go <laughs> go on the dog walk. Um, the live, as I was saying before the dog came in, was really good fun. We talked about all the books we'd rate into Hogwarts houses and I realised I really need to get more up to date on what happens in certain books because I just seem to forget really easily. I, I've said that before on here that that is a big issue for me. It's actually remembering what happens in books. I just, I don't know why, it just falls out of my brain unless it was amazing or really different. I don't know why, it's really annoying me, so need to get better at that. If anyone's got any tips on how to actually retain plots, let me know. I'm going to go on a dog walk and then I'm going to come back and read some Harry Potter. This is what I'm wearing for my walk. <laughs> I don't think I've ever looked better. This is not what I was wearing all day. These are my comfy trousers. Sometimes you've got to wear comfy trousers for a walk. And I feel like, yeah, it's 10 to 8, so I'm going to get the NHS clap whilst I'm out on my walk, which will be... Um, fun because I get to see a different area to the one that we normally clap in so yay clapping and yay NHS on the dog walk there's the giant field by the side of our house there is doggo there is house doggo field house yes I am losing the will to live I'm not really I've just been sat at my desk for a long time today what is he doing oh sorry he's having a wee he looks so bloody when he runs. Oh, he stopped. <laughs> Where's he gone? He is rubbish at actually keeping up with us when he's got the freedom of the field to run around or the grass. He'll be going on with the lead soon anyway. <laughs> Can you hear the clapping? It's Friday. We made it through another week. We're working week. Yay! Um, today I'm not really doing anything other than working and reading a bit more of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. You know at the start of this vlog where I was like I want to read as much as possible. I am reading a hell of a lot because Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is like a 600 page book. However, I've only read two books this week, which is decent. I, should, I shouldn't be too annoyed with that. So I'm going to try and finish Harry Potter today or tomorrow and then I can start another one on Saturday or Sunday, maybe. Honestly, I read so much more when it's sunny and it's been raining out at the moment, so I just like sitting out in the sun and reading. Anyway, beyond the point, look what arrived! My fairy loot! This is the March box. They were a little bit delayed due to suppliers in China, I think, but I am excited it's here. I'm going to unbox it. I don't know whether I'm going to film that or not. Maybe I'll do an unboxing. I won't do it on this vlog because I don't want to do any spoilers for people. Um, but I've got a lot of exciting things happening at the moment and I'm, I'm very excited about it. And I'm nearly at 1k followers and subscribers on YouTube, which is insane. I only started this like a month ago and I know that a lot of you guys have probably come from my other channels on Instagram and Twitter. And I just want to say thank you so very much for joining me on my YouTube journey. Maybe by the time you're watching this, I will be over a thousand, which would be bloody amazing. So thank you so much, guys. Hey guys, it is Friday evening afternoon time. I have just finished work for the day. Well, I haven't just. I finished work for the day earlier. Um, playing a bit of Animal Crossing. I've put it on my screen for the weekend rather than having it on the little switch. And I just gave it to my sister for a little bit because she, Ava, is desperate to have this on the switch. She's got a Nintendo with it and it's just not the same. Um, and she asked what she could do. So I said, well, it would be really helpful if you cleared out all these trees and then picked up the wood and she did it and <laughs> I've been putting it off for ages and now she's just done it for me so look at this space I have to play with now what a babe very impressed in other news look what arrived my ring light's here yay very exciting I've just been taking loads of stupid photos with it to try and get used to it and I'm liking it hello good day to you all and I hope you are having a lovely Saturday not that you're watching this on Saturday again 
How many times will you hear me say things like this? Many more, probably. Anyway, it's just gone 12.45 on Saturday. And so far today, I have ticked off half the things on my to-do list for blogging stuff. I've got ready, I've put my face on, I've dyed my hair and done the toner thing that I have to do. Although I'm really overdue a hair appointment now, so the colour is fading. I've sorted out my room a little bit because my ring light needed some space to fit in the corner and now I've cleared the space. It's very exciting, riveting content for you right now, I'm very aware. But one of the things I did do was go through my YouTube comments this morning and reply to all the ones I hadn't replied to yet on all my videos. And God, you guys are so nice. Thank you all for your lovely comments. I am obsessed with how many of you are saying that my voice is soothing because, and I, I don't think I've said this in a vlog before, but basically when I did YouTube before, I thought I sounded really monotone and masculine and low. So I would actually try and bring my voice up. So I would try and very much be like, hi everyone, how are you doing today? These are the books that I'm gonna be telling you all about. Let's talk about them in this voice for the whole video. And it just was obviously not how I speak. I've always been very wary that I've got quite a low voice I think, anyway, but so many of you guys are saying it's soothing and I can't, just, just, that's really nice because it's something that I felt insecure about before and now I don't, so thank you very much for everyone that's saying I have a soothing voice. I shall try to continue to be soothing for you. <laughs> In other news, I got my order from Brit today. I ordered from her shop. Um, you can find Brit down below, I'll link her. And I got a weekly desk planner because I like writing out everything I have to do, but because it's Saturday, I don't want to start this one until next week. Um, and I also got this little sunflower sticker. I could not not. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. But I love it. Isn't it cute? This is indeed my current desk setup. I will have Animal Crossing playing there later because Lauren and I are going to do a FaceTime Animal Crossing session. But for now, I'm ticking off my to do. See, I've only got three left. And they are hold back the tide review, a vlog wrap up, which I can't do until like this evening anyway, and blog post writing. I think I want to write two blog posts today. There's little Brie, she's doing good. So I'm just doing a couple of admin bits as I just talked to you about. And I thought I would have a chat with you guys about um, Harry Potter. I'm reading The Goblet of Fire and I have got this much left to go. So I'm to page 451 the chapter i'm on is the madness of mr crouch this is my reread of harry potter read it before however i have completely forgotten most of the stuff that happens in this book because crapping hell there's a lot of stuff i completely didn't click how much they didn't include in the films and i understand why they didn't include it in the films because there would have just been too much too much to include in the films um, but I know that like I used to be irritated that the house elves weren't included more in the films and I still am a little bit salty about that because I do like Dobby and Winky but in the books the house elves contribute to a lot more of the plot lines and in the films those storylines are given to other characters and I find that really interesting also there's a part where the Marauders map is used in the book and that is definitely not in the film but I don't want to spoil it in case anyone hasn't read the books or has read them and has forgotten and wants to read them again. But basically the map is used at some point in a similar way to how it is used in the third film, book, film, third one. And I found that pretty interesting because I think it changed the way the story went. It kind of gives a hint to something that happens later on a lot sooner. And if it would have been included in the film, it would have changed the way we felt about certain characters which was interesting to see included in the book because yeah you just didn't see an inkling of that in the film which makes you watch the film in a very different way so I'm I'm really liking it I thought this one would probably be one that I enjoyed a lot because when I was younger I used to be obsessed with this film as I've said in this vlog previously this was the one I watched over and over again because I think actually if you think about the film for this one this is so funny, the film. There's so much humour in it. There's so many fun bits. Ron is fantastic in the books. I mean, he's good in the films, but he is just so funny in the books. Every moment I laugh out loud, it's because Ron has said something funny. Like, he said something about when they were in the astronomy lesson with Trelawney and Lavender Brown says um, something about Uranus. And Ron then retorts by saying, oh, can I have a look at Uranus, Lavender? And it's just so funny and cheeky. And it's just what you want from Ron as a character. And I think in the films, he is funny and he is cheeky. 
but he's not the same as he is in the books and I know that's true to a lot of the characters Ginny for example but I just am having a good time guys it's it's really fun I don't really want to finish it because I am not going to jump into Order of the Phoenix next because my mum and I are trying to read them at the same time and she's still reading this one so I'll have a small break and read something else but I'm really enjoying it I just wanted to have a little casual chat with you whilst I make my blog graphics or my book reviews currently writing a review for hold back the tide which i very much enjoyed i think i gave it four stars probably should check that before starting this review uh really really good book really enjoyed it totally not what i expected it to be about i don't think the blurb gives much away when you have read it and know what happens so i'm not going to say anything more than that if you would like to read my review i will link it down below other than that, I'm going to get off and write this and then eat some lunch. Current mood. Should I film a wrap-up video? Okay, sure. Mum, shall we go out for a walk soon? Oh yes, Beth, we'll go out in 10 minutes. Can you film your wrap-up video in 10 minutes? I don't know, Mum. Can I? Spoilers. She did. As you may have just guessed from that other video clip, I just filmed my March wrap-up? April? April wrap-up. And I apologise in advance, except you will have seen it already by the time you're watching this so not in advance but um I think I talked very fast but basically my mum said if I wanted to come on a dog walk with them they were leaving in 10 minutes and I did want to go on a dog walk but I also wanted to film because I did so um I filmed it in eight minutes and wrapped up like this many books so um achievement unlocked I think maybe I'm gonna go on a walk now bye Okay, I'm going to wrap up this reading vlog here because the sun is quite literally setting on Saturday and I have said that Sundays are not vlogging days. My hair has gone a bit insane because I just had it up in a bun whilst we went for a dog walk. It is 8.09 on Saturday. The last day of my reading vlog, I said at the start of this reading vlog I would like to try and read as many books as possible. And I didn't do that because um, I read Hold Back the Tide really quickly, which definitely got me ambitious. Then I read Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which I'm still reading, and I probably will finish tonight or tomorrow morning, but I'm really, really enjoying it, and I didn't want to rush it in the end, so I gave up on that ambition. So this video should actually be something like I fail at trying to read as many books as possible. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me. Uh, changes that have happened this week as well have included me getting the ring light that I'm currently using. This is the most helpful thing because I'm so busy all the time at the moment, I don't often get until the evening to be able to film something, and this means I will be able to film in the evening. I've just noticed it's reflected by me in the window. Currently, we're doing my April wrap up, which you guys will see on Sunday. So yeah, it will be live by the time you're watching this. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed this reading vlog. If you have, you can subscribe, like, comment down below. I reply to all the comments, so I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this mashup of two books being read. I'll read more next week because I won't be reading Harry Potter then. Thank you so much again for watching. Also, thank you for very, very nearly 1k followers, which is insane. I like that. Compared to what I did this before, I think vlogging is my zone. I feel so much more confident chatting to the camera like this. I think it helps that since doing this all before in 2017, I've also since grown an Instagram following and I talk a lot to camera there. So confidence. I'm going to go before I continue mumbling again, subscribe, likey thing, all of that again. Thank you so much. Keep smiling and stay positive.